Greetings, and welcome to the Carbonite demonstration of Carbonite Server Agent. In this short demo, we're going to show you how easy it is to install, configure, and update the Carbonite Server Agent. So let's go ahead and get started. A Carbonite Server Agent is available for numerous operating systems like Windows, Linux, Solaris, AIX, HPUX, IBM I, and more, with plugins available for various applications like Exchange, SQL, and Oracle. The primary benefit of having this many agents and plugins is that customers can simply use one vendor and one backup solution for their entire environment, which simplifies the IT process and saves time, along with money. If an agentless solution is necessary for vSphere and Hyper-V environments, Carbonite Server has that available as well. Let's start our installation on a Windows Server. Simply download the installer and launch the executable. If desired, you can either automate the process and remotely install the agent on numerous machines utilizing Active Directory Group Policy or another remote deployment tool, which will make the installation on multiple machines much faster, saving the IT team from additional labor. After we accept the end user license agreement, we're presented with an option for a typical install or for a custom install. A typical install will get the most commonly used features, but let's select Custom Install to see all of the available functionality within the Carbonite Server agent. By having all of these various optional components built in, it makes deployment simpler for you, which saves time and money. The most common options would be the Exchange or SQL plugin, which we would select if the server had these functions. Next, we have the Image plugin. The Image plugin is very useful when you're backing up an entire server without exclusions and can make the backup process faster while automatically including applications like Exchange and SQL. If this machine is a cluster, you can select that option. Finally, if the server is running Oracle, select that plugin. Let's go on to the next section, and we need to provide some information. Here, we specify information on how to connect and register to the Carbonite Server Portal. By providing this information, the server will automatically appear in the portal, and we can easily start to create jobs afterwards. Once this information is provided, we can proceed to install the agent. Now that our agent is installed, let's go over to the Carbonite Server Portal and show how easy it is to automatically upgrade the agent. Upgrades are necessary to introduce new functionality and to maintain the environment. To upgrade the agent automatically for all servers in the environment, let's visit the Agent Upgrade Center. If there's an available upgrade, it will be shown here. Select the agent to upgrade along with the site to upgrade, and the process is automatic. By automating this process, we ensure the servers we are protecting stay up to date without having to manually upgrade each machine. Anytime you can automate upgrades or installation processes, we eliminate potential issues and save time and resources of the IT team. This brings us to the end of the Carbonite demonstration of Carbonite Endpoint Agent. To learn more and to stay informed, please visit us at Carbonite.com. I'd like to thank you for your time and have a great day.